What's up, good people? Mike here from Fighters United, here with my man, Logan. Say hi to good people, Logan. Hi. Nice shot. All right, so we got one more option for you from the switch kick. We're not going to the inside. We're going to the body on this one, and it's to set our opponent up. So we want to program our opponent to react to that switch kick. So we're going to go jab, switch kick, boom, right? Again, you're sparring, you're not going to throw two in a row, but maybe later in the fight you throw it again, boom, boom. Now our opponent is expecting a, a switch kick after the jab. We're going to change it up on him. Instead of throwing the switch kick, you're going to throw a jab, switch your stance, right uppercut, right hook, high kick, here. Notice the angle he's ending up on, right? I can't hit him with anything from here. He's fading away to that outside angle with that uppercut hook. The uppercut hook doesn't have to be hard. They're just to get me to stay in the same spot and bring my hands up. Let's try it again. Jab, switch, kick. Jab, switch, kick. Jab, switch, stance, uppercut. Hook, high kick. Here. Shout out to Steel MMA in San Diego. Coach Carl, Carl showed me this combo. I use it all the time now. Hopefully it works out for me. Or it did work out for me. Hopefully it works out for you. Hopefully it works out for Logan. Say goodbye to the good people, Logan. I have used it in sparring. It does work a lot. Very tricky. Just make sure that uppercut or whatever you throw at that right hand is very quick. Just confuse your opponent and then just slice right through the middle with the switch kick. If this idiot can figure it out, you guys damn sure can figure it out. Play around with it. Have fun.